Real estate is one of the most challenging professions you can pursue. It's also one of the most rewarding. As an agent, your job will vary from deal to deal and listing to listing, but there are always certain strategies that you can employ as a consistent method that yields positive results for your business. Today, I'm going to show you how you can close more deals. Hi, my name is Will Mansour. I've been a top producing agent now for over 15 years. It wasn't always easy for me, and I was lucky enough to experience the ups and downs of many different real estate markets. But the good news is, is that you don't have to, as what I'm about to show you will generate business and build relationships for life. Closing more deals as an agent means understanding the basic principles of real estate and knowing how to approach the potential buyers in order to secure a deal. In this video, we are going to cover everything from negotiating the best offer price to packaging your offer so buyers can see it as the most enticing option on the market. From closing more deals as an agent to why you should be prepared for any situation that might arise during buyer appointments, I will explain everything you need to know about being a successful real estate agent. And make sure you stick around for my pro tip as I'm gonna share with you my secret to closing more deals. One of the most important aspects of being a successful agent is knowing your closing percentage. A good closing percentage is the number of deals you close divided by the total number of listings. This means that if your closing percentage is 70%, then you are successfully selling 70% of the properties you list. My average closing percentage is 92%, but it always wasn't this impressive. In order to be successful as an agent, you need to identify what the market is looking for. If you're unsure of the market, it could lead to unsuccessful sales and unhappy clients. Research trends in your area so that you know what buyers are searching for and how they interact with properties on the market. Make sure your property is positioned correctly and has the right amenities to ensure its attractiveness to potential buyers. As an agent, you also need to research emerging technologies such as virtual tours, Matterports, 3D tours, and social media marketing options. These tools can help leverage your marketing efforts and generate leads for your business on a larger scale than before. One of the most important aspects of being a good agent is to be prepared for every buyer appointment. This may sound like a daunting task, but it can be quite helpful to have all the information on hand in order to effectively negotiate a deal. The more you know about your buyers and their tastes, the easier it will be for you to find the best offer. If your potential buyers are interested in one thing or another, take notes so you can follow up with them later. It's also important that you maintain professional composure during every meeting. You might think that these little details don't have any bearing on the bigger picture, but they sure do. A relaxed buyer will feel confident about their decision because they know there won't be any pressure from you. One thing I always do when I'm always on buyer tours is have my note app open on my phone. I'm always paying attention to their needs and making notes of any feedback they give me when we are on tours. This is important to have and to study so you know and understand their needs. Negotiation is the process in which two or more parties come to a mutually advantageous agreement. In real estate, negotiation is crucial to securing the best offer price for your seller or your buyer. People want to feel like they negotiated for any property they purchase. It gives them a feeling of satisfaction that they tried and won, whether they did win or not. One way to increase your negotiating power as a seller is by taking away the leverage. Let me explain. If I am listing a property for sale, before I list it, I want to make sure there is no leverage in the property the buyers can use in an offer against the sellers. An example would be replacing the roof, the furnace, or air conditioning. If these need replaced, savvy buyers will know this and use it against you in your offer by offering a lower price. This is leverage for them, so always make sure the leverage is gone from the property before listing the property. So come offer time, you close the deal and close it for top dollar for your seller client. There are many factors that can cause buyers to walk away from an offer. If you try to be completely fair with your strategy and ultimately come up short, they may not want to proceed with their offer. In other words, if you focus on getting the best possible deal without going over the top, then this tactic will help increase the chance of success. Additionally, offering items like pre-inspections will also decrease the likelihood of a buyer walking away from an offer because they know they won't need these services in order to purchase the property. Lastly, if you want to close more deals, you should always be asking for them. I have built my business over the past from referral-based marketing. I am always asking for referrals. When speaking with people who already know, like, and trust me and you, you should always ask, hey, if you know anyone looking to buy or sell, keep me in mind. I would love to interview for the business. Simple, short, and sweet. By doing this, you are top of mind, and how I've done this is by having conversations. Our business is about relationships and having conversations. 
I make it part of my week to have at least three face-to-face -face meetings with people where I can put myself into a position where I can ask for referrals. I'm also always texting people or having chats on social platforms in the form of direct messages. Have the conversations all the time. It will change your life. Another way to generate more deals is by building a relationship with your database. In my next video, I am going to show you how I've created a six-figure income bucket by creating a relationship-based workflow for my database, which has given me clients for life. And don't forget, if you want to dig deeper into your business, you can schedule a call with me below. My contact details are in the description of this video. It's completely complimentary, as I'm always intrigued by what is going on with people's real estate business and how I can help. Let's develop a blueprint for your business for life.